responses we received from John Carroll, who said that he had been approached to represent uh, the Republican Assembly, and, uh, and uh, our council has asked that uh, he engage in settlement negotiations. I don't remember ever going to hire council. We didn't vote. We, we never so I, that's why I was so shocked when I received this. Right. Did we have counsel? Did you have $8.5 million for it? For, for retainer fee? I thought I attended every meeting and, and you, I don't know. You, you were very sure, Psyche. Uh, I brought up those, those uh, items again. I understood, I understood my direction to, <coughs> to uh, assert our claims. So we have gone out and uh, assertively uh, asserted our rights to the name. Did you pursue a free pro bono attorney first on this matter? Uh, there, there are no offers for free pro bono attorney. Uh, our, our party attorney. Our party attorney. Uh, Mr. Chip Chase. Mr. Chip Chase was informed of the, uh, the agreement with Mr. Lilly. I didn't receive any response from Mr. Chip Chase. So you didn't ask him whether you could take case off for free? Well, nobody offered. Nobody offered, and most people don't do things. Well, the chairman, you have this tremendous persuasion, persuasive back. You can ask Chip to take it on. Well, he didn't volunteer because yeah, he, saw, he saw the letter. <laughs> well, he's not going to volunteer. It's a matter of pursuing it. But for the matter of cost, the treasurer is the one who writes the check. So the treasurer is the one that responds to the. And so, you know, the treasurer knew nothing about this. Because I called her right away when this thing came into effect. I said, when? Why is it? What is, what's going on here? And she said, well, she didn't know anything about it. So I think in the future we have to be very careful. We're going to continue this kind of uh, expenditure without the approval of the executive committee. All right, we'll take your concerns uh, into uh, Thank you. Um, I would just want to, to uh, add on to what Pat has said. For these kinds of decisions, especially when our coffers are so low right now, you're having so much difficulty raising money. When the coffers are so low, if you have an expenditure like this, it's still open ended. I was really puzzled by why that was not in there. And then I was even more puzzled that we didn't have an executive committee to discuss it. So I would just say, don't circumvent the uh, executive committee, which is designed to support you in your chairmanship and to represent all the members of this body. So. Mr. Chair, um, you know, I kind of remember some discussion of you wanting to pursue a lawsuit uh, and against Hira, but I said, you know, I would oppose any lawsuit, we, and I, I'd rather we fight you know, stand up for our name directly rather than pursue a long, expensive lawsuit. And every time you talk to a lawyer about a lawsuit, you're, you're already talking $10,000. And if this goes to court, it's really expensive. But, you know, I, we, I just don't see us having the money. And I know we did not, did not vote on this particular expenditure. So I don't think it's too late for you to just stop proceedings with the... Um, uh, any lawyer and going forward with a lawsuit, I just it's just going to take a long time. I think uh, I think this is a good time to adjourn. Is there any objection? All right. Uh, any objection to adjourning? This meeting is adjourned.
Six head with the central cake. One minute, stand by. No increase in conditions, auto 10-2.